As you age, getting pregnant can be a little trickier. Here's how to up your chances of conceiving. Giving up gluten. Drinking green juice. Acupuncture treatments. Click through social media and you'll find a million solutions for increasing fertility in your 30s. But which ones actually work? How much control do you really have over your fertility as you approach your 30s? In your 30s and want to have children, whether you're currently trying for a baby or thinking ahead to the future, it's important to do what you can to look after your fertility, particularly in your 30s, when female fertility naturally declines. Women are born with a finite number of eggs. As women age, egg quality and quantity declines. This means that your cycles may become less regular, and you may have some cycles where no egg is released. But in addition to fertility treatment, there are steps women can take to try to help boost their chances. Here, some general tips for how to potentially boost fertility in your 30s. Eat fewer carbs. There is increasing research interest in the effect a low-carb diet may have on fertility. In fact, a 2021 review study, while concluding that more research was still needed, found that reducing carbohydrate load can reduce circulating insulin levels, improve hormonal imbalance and resume ovulation to improve pregnancy rates compared to usual diet. Switching your morning toast for berries and nuts. Swapping that lunchtime sandwich for raw veg smoothie and seeds, or healthy fish, and saving those potatoes or rice balls for the evening. Quit drinking alcohol. Even if you're not pregnant, it may be a good idea to switch to mocktails now. While research on the effect of alcohol and female fertility is inconclusive, research suggests long-term, heavy use of alcohol may affect sperm motility in men. Plus. It can be a smart strategy for those first early weeks of pregnancy when you may not know you're pregnant yet, but the embryo is beginning to develop. Focus on getting your weight in a healthy range. In studies, women with a low or high BMI had a harder time conceiving than women whose BMI was in a healthy range. Talk to your doctor about your weight and its impact on your fertility. They can help you come up with a plan to lose or gain weight in a healthy, sustainable way. A woman's menstrual cycle is governed by a delicate hormonal balance. Unfortunately, being overweight can affect fertility. For example, overweight women have more of the leptin hormone, made in fatty tissue. Too much leptin can interfere with hormonal balance. Downshift your daily dose of caffeine. Do you have to totally give up your morning cup of joe? Not necessarily, but if you mainline sodas and espressos all day, you may want to cut back. Studies have found that overdoing it on coffee, consuming more than 300 milligrams a day, or the equivalent of more than one tall Starbucks coffee, may impair fertility. Seek out those vitamin and mineral supplements. From folic acid and vitamin D to zinc and selenium, studies have suggested possible fertility benefits to smart vitamin supplementation for women who need it. Well-balanced Mediterranean-style diet will provide the required supplements for most people. If you really want to go about it in a targeted way, you can have a blood test to determine any deficiencies. Focus on whole foods. While there's some research on the effects of so-called fertility diets, experts say there's no conclusive evidence that specific dietary changes have an effect on fertility for all women. Some general guidelines that have been proven. Diets high in unsaturated fats, whole grains, veggies and fish have been associated with higher fertility outcomes for women and men. Offload some of your stress. The precise links between stress and fertility problems are still being studied and hypothesized. What's more, telling a woman to relax or else may induce more stress. What we do know is that trying to trim the unnecessary stress out of your life can only help your mind and body at a momentous time, so it's always worth doing if you can. Rethink your exercise routine. Exercise may be too much of a good thing when it comes to getting pregnant in your 30s. Some studies have found that intense exercise may inhibit conception because it may cause you to skip ovulation or experience implantation failure. Have your partner ditch his briefs. Time to say goodbye to briefs and hello to boxes. Some studies have found that men who wear boxes have a higher sperm concentration and total sperm count than those who don't. It's also a good idea to have your male partner avoid placing his laptop directly on his lap or spend too much time in hot tubs. That's because heat can impair sperm formation. Track your cycle. If you don't regularly track your cycle, it's a good time to start, 
even if you're not ready to conceive immediately, that's because your cycle may shift as you hit your 30s. How to track? Day 1 is the first day your period starts. The last day is the day before your next period begins. For most women, ovulation generally happens 12 to 14 days before your next period begins. The optimal time to conceive is 2 to 3 days before ovulation begins and the day of ovulation itself. Speak to your doctor or a fertility consultant. Frustratingly for women, fertility does decline in a woman's 30s. If you want to plan for the future or you're concerned that time is ticking, the best way to know where you are is to book a fertility check.